welcome back. My name is Patrick, and you're watching the Oilers Rundown. This will just be a quick update for you guys. We found out Kyler Yamamoto is getting closer to a return. Don't know if we're going to see him tomorrow against Florida, but there's probably a good chance we're going to see him at some point this week. He was on the ice today, said he's feeling better and inching closer and closer to a return. Warren Fogle left yesterday's game against the New York Rangers early. He appears to be hurt. Uh, Jay Woodcroft said he's taking a maintenance day along with Ryan McLeod. So don't know if we're going to see Fogle and McLeod tomorrow against Florida. I mentioned in my video earlier today that we could see the return of Tyler Benson and possibly James Hamlin. I think that will depend on how Fogle and McLeod feel tomorrow, whether we see two recalls. I also mentioned that Brad Malone and Devin Shore are probably more of the likely guys to be sent down if we do see Benson and Hamlin, so we'll see what happens here. We haven't had any other official announcements today. I don't know if we're going to get one later this afternoon or we find out in the morning, so like I said, a lot of things up in the air. I know Tyson over at Dolany TV, really excited to see James Hamlin, so hopefully that works out for him. And speaking of Tyson, he did a video this morning on Vladislav Gavrikov with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Mark Spector mentioned him as a possible target for the Edmonton Oilers on defense. Gavrikov is a left shot defenseman, $2.8 million cap hit, expiring UFA, 6'3", 221 pounds. So he would definitely bring some size to the Oilers back end. I reached out to my Rig 72 partner, Toph, because his brother Daniel is a Columbus Blue Jackets fan, and he had this report on Gavrikov. Daniel says he's pretty much an average defenseman, does decent in the offensive zone, He's good, not great. He's a minus one for the season, so yeah, I actually really like him, but I'm biased, of course. Minus one on a struggling Columbus Blue Jackets team certainly isn't bad, so we'll see what happens there. Like I said, Mark Spector mentioned him as a possible target, and Tyson over at Dolany TV has a full report on him. I'll post a link to it at the end of this video. That's all for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything. Who do you think we see called up? What's the roster look like tomorrow? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. I'll see you soon.